Oi, how you doing? It's me, your favorite official non-Hermitcraft member here. Welcome back to the guide. You know what comes after one, two. You know what comes after two, three. You know what comes after... Okay, enough of that. I was going to do that all the way up to 119 because this episode 119. We don't have time for that, though. Today, we have a gigantic project. I can't waste any more time. The like goal today is going to be 10k likes. Let's see if we can hit it. If you're not subscribed, you should subscribe now. A formal apology. A sincere formal apology to all of the pandas. It's been so long. Project Panda, it started, and, and it started... Not exactly strong, but it started. It got to a point where we have so many pandas in here. Look at this. A, a rolling panda. I hate them. I'm tired of them. There's an angry panda in here. There's a normal panda right there. Look at that. That's normal. There's a scared panda somewhere in here. Or there was. It, it better still be here. Are you guys afraid? Oh, you're afraid. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There are four types of pandas in here. There are three types of pandas that we need. Now, we really can't do anything to the pen over there. And then we have the, the panda express line set up to send the pandas over to this island right here. Well, that's the problem. This island. Yes, this isn't ex- ah. <laughs> It's not exactly Panda, is what I'm trying to say, right? Like, it's just a plain island. It's finally time. Today, by the end of the episode, this entire island is going to look entirely different. Completely unrecognizable. If you skip this episode, if you're not listening to this right now, you're not even gonna know what happened. But first, the island needs to become an island. Right now, it's connected to this area. Now, conveniently, this is actually right over by the skeleton farm, so we can link this up later, but it needs to be an island. I think the perfect spot to cut this into an island is definitely gonna be like right in here along the biome divide. So all we need to do is basically make a canal cutting through here, link the lake up. It's not that far, and then we're gonna have to take out some of the trees. The water level should be on the same level too, which is gonna make it easier. Mm, yeah, yep, yep, same level. Okay, perfect, a little bit of clay too, I love it. We'd love to see it. I think if we were to cut maybe like this much of the land out, like five, six blocks, maybe, yeah, like five or six blocks, make it look natural, that would probably be pretty good. We could leave some of the trees on the other side, definitely take out the trees in the middle, and then this side, we're, we're gonna have to like blend the hill down, make it look good. So Panda Island, or as we will call it from this point on, the Great Panda Resort. It's not exactly in a good spot. It's just the plain Minecraft jungle. The pandas don't like it. They stay in the water. They can't even get around in the jungle. It's just really cramped, crowded. It's bad. There are a couple things that we need to do all in today's episode to get this place looking good forever. To warm the pandas up to this place, make them feel a little bit more welcome. First, we're going to need to set up some sort of symbol. This is going to be something that we're going to set on the island that the pandas see and immediately go like, oh yes, this is home. I never want to leave the resort. See, pandas are smart. Uh, pretty smart, actually. Uh, adorable, that's definitely their main thing, but but also smart. However, it's a little known fact that pandas are actually illiterate. Completely illiterate, actually. It's kind of crazy. They can't read. So this symbol, it, it can't involve words. It's going to have to just be big and, and gigantic and huge and symbol. Then after we set that statue up, we're going to terraform the entire island. Like, rip down all the trees, take out all the leaves. I don't really like them. They don't fit the panda vibe. Replace the blocks on the ground, or most of them, a lot of them. And then, <laughs> I'm nervous for it. I don't really like to do it. But we're going to build custom trees. I think we're going to give it a shot, set them up all over the island, put plants in, detail it, and then boom, it should be perfect. The resort will be complete, the pandas will stay on the island, and it'll be great. And then I won't see anybody else remind me that I never finished the project. So check it out. Here we go. We have the river in here. I found a secret cave. That's kind of cool. It's just a small thing. Maybe we'll try and leave it here. This is kind of interesting. We could even set up like a waterfall or something. I put grass on the side right here. It's still a pretty steep hill. We might adjust it more once we take the trees out. But for now, it's pretty good. So not that it actually matters too much. But what I'm going to do today is actually set up a couple chests. Personally, I always think it's interesting when I'm watching videos to see what people actually get from they're taking out like large areas of space. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and put like all the logs that I get from clearing out the jungle today The leaves like most of the drops that I end up picking up inside of chests over in this spot We might end up moving them. Yeah, actually this tree is probably gonna go away completely But yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'll try and remember to show you at the end of the episode Monument it's monument time. So stone. Oh, that's oh, that's even more painful. I mean, that's doing fine. We, we could smelt it up. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to smelt some of that cobblestone up. I have so many chests of cobblestone and, like, no stone. I, how could I do that? I need to use a silk touch pickaxe more. I need to upgrade it to netherite. I can't believe it. Never thought I would be saying it, especially at this point in the series, but I don't have enough rocks. I need to set up a resource quarry somewhere and get, like, way more stone. Not today, thankfully. I should have enough today. But I'm gonna have to do that at some point. So this thing that we're going to be building is going to be built out of stone. It's going to kind of match the temple. It's going to be pretty big too. I think I want to actually put this thing like right in this space right here. Like where those trees are. Maybe maybe that tree too. Like like in this general area. Which means uh, it's time. It's time. It's finally time. Hey, wait. Where do you come from? What? The jungle has to go. I can't have it here anymore. And the skeleton? 
Yeah, you're you're also gonna have to go. Yeah, goodbye, bud. And vines, sweet vines. Uh, the population of vines will soon be extinct at this rate. I need to collect them. I will maybe use some today. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. A specimen. I've collected the perfect one. This should do exactly perfect for what we're going to do next. However, there are a few adjustments that we will need to make to this specimen before we can do anything with it. It's not in good form yet. I've done it. I've cracked the code through a lot of hard work, science, determination. Here it is. 10 blocks tall, 13 blocks wide, 9 blocks deep. That's the head. That's how big it is. But it gets bigger. 26 blocks tall, 13 blocks deep, 19 wide. That's the body. Then finally the legs. Not as important, but 6 wide, 6 tall, 8 long. The panda is gigantic. Those are in pixels, by the way. Like, those measurements, I counted the pixels on the panda. It was tricky, but I did it. Now, why am I doing that? Well, obviously, we need something recognizable to the panda, and, uh, for sure. The most recognizable thing to the panda? Definitely a panda. So I cleared out this space in here. It's a lot of space. I drew down three gigantic trees. It looks like I forgot those blocks that I put there when I was building the temple. I'll get those later. Next, we need to build a gigantic statue of a panda, a one-to-one -one replica of the panda. One pixel equals one block. So those are what the measurements are for. Uh, we're going to put the panda statue like over here. It's going to sit on a platform two blocks off of the ground over here. It'll be a little taller over there. We're going to keep like the natural shape of the ground. I think that'll look good. Um, but two blocks up, and then I think I have to go 26. Wait. How do I do this? I mean, 26 blocks up, 10 more for the head. Uh, hold on. I was doing it all wrong. We want to start with the body of the panda. So that's going to be 13 blocks deep. That's going to be 19 blocks long. It's going to be gigantic. Then after that, we need to go up 26 blocks. So this is going to be 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Aha, cobblestone. Perfect. 26 blocks. Yeah, that's pretty tall. Mm, for sure. Then we should probably fill it in. So, this gigantic panda is going to be built out of stone and cobblestone. Maybe a little bit of andesite, but mostly stone and cobblestone. I think it'll look good. I think it'll look fine like this. I mean, we have a gigantic temple built out of stone and cobblestone, and that looks good. To start this build, we're going to need a lot of stone. So, I've been smelting up cobblestone over here for a while. It looks like the furnace is filled up all the way, but I need stone. See, I strongly considered building this panda out of, like, concrete, or maybe even wool, because we set the wool farm up, like, I would have just AFK'd and got a bunch of wool. But it's not exactly the vibe that I'm going for. I mean, a gigantic wool panda would look cool, for sure, no matter what, because this is a giant panda. But this time, I'm going for more of, like, a ruined, ancient structure vibe, not exactly like a brand new, gigantic panda that might come to life at any second vibe. So yeah, I think stone is going to be better for that. Alright, so I think what we want to do first is frame the whole body in, which I've basically finished now. That's the size of the body. It is pretty big. Uh, we're going to need to add arms on the front and, and feet on the bottom. That's going to be good. And then we'll make the platform way bigger than I thought. I thought we would be able to put like the edge right there. But it's going to have to go out enough for like the feet. So, uh, the head of the panda is nine blocks deep. We need to figure out where we want to put this because we have 13 blocks here. So if we were to go in like three blocks and maybe start the head here, we would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the pandas now hangs out like two blocks. I think that might be right. I think that might be right. I think that might be good. It's definitely more important that the panda looks good from the front. But the head of the panda isn't actually going to be 19 blocks wide. It's only going to be 13 blocks wide. So we're going to want to find the center, which is this spot right here, and, and then count 13 from here. So that's going to be the middle. Then we're going to go out six blocks this way, and then six blocks the other way. So that's going to put the head centered right there. So then this line gets moved. The corner of the head is going to be right there. However, uh, is this good? I, I'm, like, really nervous about this. I don't want to build the whole statue, like, put the head on it, and then realize that the body definitely should be moved forward or backward. I'm pretty sure we want to have this like this and have, like, the panda, like, snout thing like hang off uh, like that I think that would look really good <laughs> I don't know I think we're just gonna have to go with it like we're just gonna have to commit build a panda maybe start with the head and then see how it looks so the panda head is 10 blocks tall as well so it's gonna go all the way up to there then we put the arms in there somewhere we put the legs in there 
how it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Another thing that I'm really not sure about when it comes to this giant panda, do we try and like replicate the panda colors? Like in the dark spots, do we use cobblestone and then the light spots we use stone or do we just randomize it? I'm kind of leaning towards randomize. It's like, I feel like random combination, random mixture of cobblestone and stone is gonna make the panda statue look like older and, and better. If we were to do like clean chunks of cobblestone and then clean chunks of stone, I think it would probably make it look bad. So that's where the snout is going to go. Another part that I'm pretty nervous about is the head of the panda. I don't know how I'm actually going to get the details on the head of the panda if I'm not using, like, the proper colors. Like, hopefully it just works out. I mean, the shape of the panda is pretty obvious. Like, there's going to be no mistaking that it's actually a giant panda, I think. Uh, hopefully. Pretty sure. Maybe I'm doing it right, actually. Like, maybe we create the entire outline of the panda first. So, like, all of the blocks like I've been doing right now. Then we could easily change any of the stuff that looks weird before I actually start filling it in. The ears feel absolutely tiny compared to this whole thing. Like, five blocks, that's it, four blocks tall. But, I mean, it looks right. I mean, yeah, definitely. Legs, legs are going to be easy. They're going to stick out past the panda seven blocks. Eight block is inside of the panda. Six blocks wide, six blocks tall. So, two blocks like that. Then the arms. The arms are going to be the same thing as the legs. But, instead of being at the bottom of the panda, they're going to be at the top of the panda. Now, on the model, the diagram, they're like even with the head. But I think we need to make an adjustment to make it look good. Instead of having it even with this, we're going to lower it one block. So I think that means we want to start the panda arm right there and make it the same length. Or maybe it should it be shorter. Hmm, maybe the same length. I mean, after all, technically it should be the same length, right? Okay, final block for the outline. I think the outline is basically finished after this. How's it look? <laughs> uh, it looks boxy. It's definitely gonna be boxy for sure. I mean, that was the intention. Uh, yep, gonna be a gigantic box, but I think it's gonna work, especially once we we like put trees in here. Maybe we leave gigantic oak trees in there, or uh, or we have like the custom trees, make sure they're tall. Mm, I think it's gonna be a panda. I think it's gonna work. I mean, gotta take a look at the angles for sure, but yeah to me that looks like a giant panda hopefully it'll work once we fill it in all the way i thought about using stone brick by the way but stone brick is also not the vibe that i'm really going for but how about over here will we be able to see this thing from like here <laughs> yeah 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 we could definitely see it from there for sure easily okay sweet all right well i think that's that i'm pretty sure that's how we're gonna do it we're just gonna fill the outline in now i'm gonna use a lot of stone and a lot of cobblestone to try and get a good combination i don't know if i'm gonna use any mossy cobblestone actually even though i do have a lot of vines right now to be honest i would rather just drape leaves on top of the thing kind of like we did with the temple over there i feel like that made the thing look really good so that's what we might do instead of putting like mossy cobblestone or anything like that but uh anyways time for me to start filling this thing in and when i fill this thing in i'm gonna try and put cracks on the thing too but anyways enough talk it's time for me to start filling this thing in all right so i'm not too far into the project i'm still trying to figure out exactly how i want to do this it's kind of tricky to be honest uh, a lot of like back and forth like looking at the build see i don't want it to look like too crazy i, I think what i want to do here is definitely more stone than cobblestone trying to figure it out like i'm okay with the big patches sometimes but i think i need to come back in there and actually already replace some of the stuff uh that is good like that's what i want it to look like over there it's like a little too hectic so gotta figure it out i don't really know a good way to do this because i've never really done anything like this actually progress update it's going good i'm finally getting the hang of it i feel like my combination of the blocks is so much better now like not as much cobblestone uh but i am running really low on stone i keep smelting it up and a problem happened okay don't don't ask how it happened a cow was like glitched out of the thing and i didn't think and i took the sword the, the subscribe sword and i hit the cow and swung at it and i forgot i have fire aspect sharpness and sweeping edge and i took all the cows out so basically, we're starting from scratch on that farm, which is great. Thankfully, I was able to find cows over here in this field. There were two right here, so I bred them. One of the adults actually ended up just abandoning me, so that kind of worked out. And I took the child and the other adult back over to the cow farm. Big rip. But at least I was able to find cows kind of close. It was kind of a pain. But anyways, back to the giant panda for me. But first, it's time to roll stuff over. I need more stone. 
Big project update. I'm doing good. I've been busy building the gigantic mana for a long time now. I'm actually on my second day of work on this project, but it's looking good. At this point in the build, I finished most of the body. I have that hole right there that I have to finish up. I'm working on that right now. And then that bottom foot, I need to finish that too. I haven't really touched the top of the build quite yet. I'm nervous. I'm most nervous for that part, but I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of the cobblestone mixture that I want in here. I feel like the sides look pretty good. I've been considering the whole vine draping thing. I don't know. I think what we're going to have to do is do the whole island and and then I'll be able to decide. I know for sure that I probably will end up piling like leaves near the base of the thing, but it might look better to maybe have like very minimal vines, like maybe like one or two hanging off at the side, not even going all the way down and just leaving it clean for the most part. Smelting operation is going pretty good too. I just got back from the storage building. I brought more cobblestone and more blaze rods over. It's going pretty good. I actually need to go back to the storage building right now though to get more cobblestone. I decided to stop taking stone from the storage building entirely so I don't like completely empty it. Definitely need to stock up on that more soon. But yeah, the build is gigantic. It's huge. Maybe as tall as the temple and it's going pretty good. Mark my words right here, right now. Next time you see the build, it might even be finished and there might even be a platform around the side too. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a monster. Hey, hey there, everybody. How you doing? It's me, your boy, Tree Chopples here, back and ready to go. I have to clear out this whole island now. All of the trees, they, they have to go. I have a lot of tree chopping to do. Have to chop out all the stuff on the ground. All the trees, including the big, beautiful oak trees. It's so sad. Like, honestly, there are maybe some of the best-looking giant oak trees of all time that I've seen in here. Like, like that one? Like, look at it. It's so... Okay, that kind of looks awkward. But, like, there are some good ones in here. But to do what I want to do next, I need to clear out all of the trees from this side over here... Uh, all the way over to the panda, all the way over to the front, all the way over to the back. But uh, the panda, speaking of the panda, the big panda has been, it's been a little while again. I've been working and here it is, uh, the giant panda. Yup, uh, it's a panda. It's definitely a panda. Look at it with the eyes, the ears. So yep, not to brag or anything, but I got a little creative with the eyes. I, I decided to set them in. I felt like that looked pretty good. And then same with the ears, set the ears in. It looks pretty good. However, I have decided that almost Almost for sure. I think I need to come back in with like oak leaves. Oak leaves are gonna look really good and drape them off of this thing. So like a big clump hanging off over there, like a clump hanging off of the arms maybe. Not like too much, like not as much as the temple. That's a lot of leaves, but just like a few clumps of leaves like hanging off of the thing. Probably not really obstructing the face or anything because the face looks so cool, but it's a panda. It's an actual gigantic panda and you can tell. And the giant panda is good and all, but there's one thing even better than the panda and that's gonna be this view right here <laughs> with the giant panda off in the background like look at that thing it's crazy it's insane i mean i don't usually go on top of the storage building but you can see it from here and then one spot that i'm really curious about i haven't tested it yet but how about right here uh okay no nope and then finally, one final spot that I want to test before we get back to work. How about the second story of, of the storage building? I'd never go up here and the windows are a little too high to look out, but uh, can we see it? Can I make it out? Mm, no. Maybe if I had the Red Nerders and Sire though, it might work. So vines on the panda, chopped on all the trees on the island. I also have to set up a platform. I didn't do that quite yet. Said I was going to, decided not to because I figured I would talk about it a little bit. What I'm going to do for the platform is this right here. We're going to do stone bricks, uh, two up, and then I think slabs all the way around the side. We're going to space it out one block and I'll put either like stone in here, uh, maybe more grass or maybe something else to like outline the panda. It's just going to be a square. So it's going to go straight out one past the leg and then over and the same thing, just all the way around the thing. Mossy stone brick, stone brick, maybe cracked stone brick too. And then the island, the whole island. So I want to keep the pandas inside of the island. And I think the best way to do that is going to be with a wall around the island. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is build a wall and wrap it all the way around the island, I think. It's going to be a lot of stone, like an insane amount of stone, which is why I'm going to start with the platform first. The cobblestone operation, the smelting is going really good. I'm starting to get low on blaze rods over here, so I might have to actually go to the blaze spawner and pick up more. I know I have like a bunch over there, maybe over to the storage building too. It's going pretty well, but I'm starting to get a little nervous about how much work I have to do and how long this episode is starting to get. So usually when I work on an episode, if it's like a more of a normal episode, I do all of the recording first, then I come in and edit it after. It just kind of works easier that way. But with this episode, I've been kind of doing it in chunks. So I, I do a cut and, and I talk about everything. And then when I'm done with like my clip, if you will, I go and put it into the editing software, edit it, get the video like partially made. And the video is already like basically a full length of an episode. <laughs> and there's so much left to do. See, I have two options here. Either make the episode really long and finish everything that I had planned, or 
finish what I can in today's episode, work on this build even more in the next episode because it is an entire island after all. And then we could make the island even better. Like I could add even more details to the island, do even more stuff with the island, and make the resort even better for the pandas. Ah, decisions, decisions though. If I do that, then the project I was gonna do next episode gets pushed back even more. And I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Ah, decisions, decisions. What to do, what to do. Oh yeah, but look at this. This is the inside of the panda. There's some cursed vines there that we're gonna leave there forever. And it's gigantic. Look at this thing. It's like crazy. I tried to light it up up there and then down here so we don't get like any spawns in here. Gonna need a few more torches in the middle for sure. But yeah, this is the inside of the thing. It's insane. Project update. It's going good. Only a couple more big trees left. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. And then I guess there's that small cluster of trees, but the island. It's basically empty now. It looks completely different. I came back over to the wool farm just a second ago to get a bunch of black wool because of what I want to do next. And uh, check this out. The wool farm, yep, it's been running really, really well. We have so much wool, like, it's insane. Chopping down the trees took a surprising amount of time. I didn't think it was going to take as much time, but I've spent like two more hours working on this thing. I gotta say, I'm super grateful for that third life series that the Hermits have been doing lately because that's what I've been watching. It's so good, it's addicting. All right, now before I forget, uh, end of the episode, the chests. Uh, here's the top chest right here. We have a lot of stuff. And then the bottom chest, so much jungle wood. Ah, oh, man, it is such a bummer. It hurts. I'm going to need to find another new project now to use all that jungle wood up on because it's pointless. I, I don't need that stuff. Uh, so if you have any ideas, let me know. I also got the panda platform in since the last time that you saw it. So I decided to go with stone bricks, like I said. I did the combination, cracked stone brick, mossy stone bricks. I made it fancier around the edge to match the vibe of the panda. And then I figured black wool around it to really make the panda stand out. I mean, it's not something that we're really going to see very much, but like from up here, like the panda, it stands out like it's super obvious now. I think I'm going to come back in with like lights in there or something. To be honest, I'm not too concerned about the floor of the platform because we'll never see it. I think it'll look good on a map though. The vines. I haven't put the vines on the panda statue quite yet. Definitely still gonna do it. The panda statue needs it 100%. It's gonna make the panda look so much better, but I've decided. I thought about what I should do with this episode. Then I threw a poll on Twitter and asked you what I should do with this episode. We're gonna split it in two. In the next episode, we're gonna finish up the resort entirely. So everything I said in the beginning about the island looking entirely different, well, it was true, okay? The island looks completely different than it did at the beginning. When I started the project, I didn't think to actually like keep track of how long I was working on this project because I seriously thought it would take like no time at all. Uh, but if I had to guess, it's probably been like six, eight hours. To be completely honest, I have no clue how it ended up taking so much time, but here we go. The island is completely clear now. Okay, okay, actually, mostly clear of all of the natural trees. I looks like there's like one more log right here. Now it's clear. In the next episode, we're going to continue working on this island, and because I'm cutting things up, we're going to be able to put a lot more details into the island. The plans are changing. I'm considering setting something else up over there. It'll be pretty cool. Maybe pull this rail line in even more. Uh, definitely still terraform the whole island. Custom trees, bamboo. It's going to be so good looking. And is that a floating tree? Oh my gosh. That's a floating tree. How could he do that? The Great Panda Resort gets finished once and for all in the next episode. Episode 120. But that doesn't stop us from updating the map. So take a look at it right now. This is what it looks like. If we take this map down, uh, and then we're going to grab this map too. We're going to fly over there and change it. It's going to look completely different. All of the trees there right now. Goodbye, trees. Ah, uh, the panda. The panda with the black outline. Perfect, perfect. And the trees, they're gone. The leaves are decaying still. We'll update the map again when it's done. But here it is. The map back on the wall. <laughs> it looks so different. It looks so weird. And look at the pan. Oh, no, I left the scaffolding there. Oh no, I have to fix that. Wait, hold on. You can kind of tell that it's a panda from the sky. That's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, and I can't remember if I said yet. I think I did, but I didn't put the vines on it yet. We'll do it next episode. Episode 119, Waddles. You should put composters on top of all the hoppers to reduce lag. So that's really interesting. I saw a couple comments about that. Uh, I was talking about the full warm. Today's question of the day is a question for you. I I is that a thing? I've never heard of that before. I mean, more than likely, it's something that I just completely missed. And to be honest, I believe it. It totally seems like one of those weird bugs that's in the game that just kind of works for some reason. At the same time, though, I feel like I might be getting trolled, but I'll do it anyway. So composter right there. Hopefully that helps. And then I don't think I got enough, but even more composters in here. This better not break the machine. There's even more jungle wood out here. It's perfect. Maybe I will have enough. Oh, I'm going to have enough easily, easily. All right. So next we have this line of hoppers right here. So we'll put a bunch of composters there it's gonna make it really hard to get around in here but that's fine and then i actually have to dig all the way around the circuit because i didn't really leave an easy way into it so over here we're gonna have a bunch of composters going down like that and i think they're gonna go to there i think that should be it and now i'm trapped so great maybe we go this way and then 
Uh, this, this way. It, it works. Okay, so there we go. We have blocks on top of every single hopper. Hopefully that that reduces lag. I mean, I haven't had very much lag in here, but if I could lower the lag, that would be great. And if I was trolled, that never happened. It's a figment of your imagination. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like and subscribe. All of my links are in the description. Huge thank you to Cato808, Lord Zenera, and Hush Sound34 for the support. Next episode, The Kingdom Returns.